Paris Ancaster, I guess, started as a race from Paris to Ancaster, which is where it gets its name, obviously. But um, th that route is now the 70K route. We have a, another route that we started uh, probably about eight years ago, which is a 40K version. Um, much of the same route, it's just basically the second half of the route. Uh, so you get the same experience as the 70K, a little bit shorter. Um, this time of year and with the train we're over, it's a real challenging course even at 40K. So we try to suggest that people start with a 40K event if they haven't done it before. New thing we've added this year is a 20 kilometer uh, ride. We're calling it a ride, not a race. It's really intended for families, uh, new people, maybe as a stepping stone towards um, future participation in the 40 to 70K event. Uh, we're keeping it, it's a loop going from the uh, Ancaster Community Centre, finishing Ancaster. It avoids a couple of the features of the 40 and the 70, the uh, famous mudslide. From an ability point of view, it's suited to all abilities. Uh, from a challenge point of view, it's shorter, but it still has the Martins Road climb at the end, which those of you who've done Paris Ancaster know that that's a, a brutal grind up to the finish line. Um, so everybody's going to have to go up at that, whether you're riding or pushing your bike. So it'll be a challenge, I think, for, for anybody, but attainable for any level of rider.